Hey everyone, Ray Del Vecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com and today we'll break down a question that I've heard a lot. I know it's something that I asked myself at the beginning and that's am I good enough to charge? Let me counter that just with another question. Do you value your time? Because if you answer yes to that and you're even considering making money from your services, then you need to charge. You got to get over this fear. So with that said, let's dig into the two core reasons that you're probably asking yourself this. And the first is that you're afraid you won't be able to deliver from the technical side. From this standpoint, I would ask yourself a few questions, and that's, can you deliver a site in two to three weeks? And in my experience, some projects might drag on longer than that, especially if it's your first project and the client is kind of an unknown. You don't know what to expect from them. If you feel like with minimal back and forth, you can complete a website in two to three weeks, that's probably good enough. You don't have to do it in a, in a day or two. You're, you're likely going to hit a couple problems along the way. And to some degree, you need to have some faith that you can handle those unexpected problems. The other thing is, are you planning to manage other people's websites long term? And are you going to do that for your first project? If that's the case, then you could build in some recurring money there. At the same time, you need to envision yourself you know, a year from now, whether or not you want to be doing this, or if this is just something to make a, a buck here and there. And I think the most important thing that I overlooked at the beginning was you can't look at your skill from an overall standpoint compared against every other web designer or every other freelancer out there. You have to look at your skill relative to the skill of the potential client because a lot of my clients are home service contractors. They are so bad with computers that it makes it really easy for me to manage their websites because you know they're never questioning my work, whether it's design stuff or the code side of things. You know, they always defer to my judgment. In a lot of ways, your skill level doesn't matter. You just need to go after somebody that has a lesser skill than you. And I think most importantly, they need to have the willingness and the ability to pay you. And one thing that I found is many times, especially at the beginning when I wasn't so well versed with WordPress and dialed in with my process, I had a couple requests from clients that I wasn't even sure I was going to be able to do. We ended up agreeing to a project and I figured out how to do them through WordPress plugins. You know, I thought it might take me hours and hours of work and I found a plugin after maybe searching for 15 minutes and it ended up taking care of the function that I needed to put in place. So in this regard, WordPress plugins are definitely your friend if you're using WordPress as your platform to build websites. That's what most professional websites are built on. And I have a couple videos that might help you out there. I'll link here to um, the top 15 WordPress plugins for 2019. Those are a combination of popular plugins that were recommended to me from my subscribers and also the ones that I use on all, all my personal and client websites. And I also have a full WordPress tutorial building a complete website. I'll link that up in the description. I highly recommend you check those out if you are interested in web design but you haven't looked into WordPress yet. The second part of this, and I would argue the biggest part by far is the mindset issue. Everybody that gets into business is going to doubt themselves at the beginning. And you know, one thing about business that is different from the real world when you have a job and you have an employer is that you're never going to get permission from someone. And I think a lot of people look for this. You know, they don't feel that they're good enough unless somebody validates their work. And you have to be the person that validates your own work and has the belief that you have a valuable skill to offer other people. So if you can get over that, and that's not something that comes immediately, it definitely takes time working with a handful of people and getting a feel for them. You know, I think a big thing with me was I overvalued, or I shouldn't say overvalued, but I, I thought every client that I worked with would be like head and shoulders above me, smarter than me, you know, especially with biz business more than the technical side. I felt comfortable with the computer side, but I felt like they would really be judging my work and it, it really has been the complete opposite where they don't know what I'm doing and they value my work. So once you work with a couple good people, you should begin to feel that and you'll realize that your time is actually worth money, especially when you're solving someone else's problem. And that doesn't mean you should, should never do free work. There's definitely circumstances where free work is okay. I think with that, you have to make sure that it's a good long-term opportunity. You might be able to grow with somebody or it's something that you either believe in, maybe like a nonprofit or something like that, or just a friend who has a business idea that you really believe in. That's the case where it could be a good opportunity to learn, to work with somebody else. 
But if it's like just some random weird project that somebody has an idea for and they know that you can build websites and they come to you, don't take on any opportunity. Make sure it's a decent one and something that you're interested in. And I think the thing that we all need to get over is that imposter syndrome. You know, it's, it's pretty much impossible to not feel this. This is a human thing that we all feel. The fear is that you're going to be found out as a fraud. And here's the interesting thing that, you know, my mindset has really changed on this because I feel like imposter syndrome technically could be worse in a job, like I said, where you have maybe one boss above you that is always looking at you and judging you. But when you build websites, you're freelancing, and you might have 10 clients, when you get to that point, your risk is diversified you know, a lot. Whereas you've got, if you have an issue with one client or two clients, it's not going to affect your overall business. And I guarantee that if you have 10 clients and two of them are bad, you're going to have two that are great and that you build a great relationship with that lasts long term. So the bottom line is when it comes to business, activity is what wins. You know, people, I, I definitely think people fail in business more because they overthink and they don't act. And I've seen this, you know, with my own cl clients because I think my smarter clients are actually not as successful as the ones that maybe don't have the intelligence, but they just go out there and, and do the, like the core four or five things that they need to do every day to make money. And if it doesn't make them money, then they don't even consider it or think about it. Whereas I think the smarter people think about every step in the process, even if it's a hypothetical, you know what I mean? So I think the first part of getting over it is just knowing that this is a thing, <laughs> you know? And hopefully you're able to do that after, like I said, you put yourself out there and work with a few people. If you're still not sure about this entire process, I put together a membership where I offer my entire business plan. I turned it into training modules, so you'll have eight training modules with worksheets to keep you on track at each step. All those modules have various tools and templates that you can download. And then if you have any questions along the way, this is where I'm gonna be most active responding to my subscribers. So on there, I have a private member forum. You can ask any question you have, whether it's regarding websites, WordPress, clients, or just any general computer questions or issues that you might have. And then each month I also put out a monthly Q&A video where I expand a little bit further on some of the best questions. That's also anonymous if you'd like to ask, ask a question but you don't want it on the forum. So if you're interested in starting your web design business and making recurring income, go to websiteprofitcourse.com slash plan. I'll include a link to that here and in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more WordPress and web design business videos. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this and I hope you join me on the next video. Have a great day.